Hey y'all, welcome to a Hoppin' Frog Fridays are for you on Uncle Bug's Bell Buckle Beer Views. And I got my last Hoppin' Frog that I'm gonna do for you. Well, the last one I got, uh, last one I've got here. Um, I went to Murfreesboro a while back and I picked up several Hoppin' Frogs in singles. And I've been trying to do them on Fridays and I've got my last one today. And it is a Hoppin' Frog Boris the Crusher. B-O-R-I-S, the Crusher, Oatmeal Imperial Stout. Now, that stands for, uh, it says on the side here, this bodacious oatmeal Russian Imperial Stout, the B-O-R-I-S, the Boris, will crush you like no other. This is the granddaddy of all stout styles with an intensely deep roasted and full bodied flavor. A robust hop character adds a refreshing balance. All right. Uh, this beer won the 2008 and 2011 gold at the Great American Beer Festival, uh, wherever in the hell that's held. It's got it on here, but it's written so small I can't read it, y'all. But for an Imperial Stout in 2008 and 2011, this won a gold. Um, Boris the Crusher, Oatmeal Imperial Stout, 9.4% ABV. All right, now this is a 12 ounce can where the other, most of the other ones I've done by Hopping Frog have been eight and 8.45 fluid ounces, but their alcohol content's been through the roof. I think the highest one I got was like a 16.8 in a little old bitty can, whew. Anyway, this stuff is brewed in Akron, Ohio. Uh, government warning, all that kind of good garbage. It doesn't really tell you what kind of hops or none of that kind of stuff. Uh, so anyway, we're going to try this Boris the Crusher today on a Hoppin' Frog Fridays are for you. On Uncle Bud Bell Buckle Bear Abuse. Let's see what this stuff looks like. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be burnt motor oil dark. And it pretty much is. I mean, it's not black. As I'm pouring it off, I can see... Uh, light through the stream there, but man look at that dadgum head. Look how brown that head is and look at you got you You got your stuff Your head developing right there Beautiful brown head on that thing man. Look at that Wow Now I can't see any light through it at all now <sighs> Boy that's got a super roasty aroma coming off of it and that head has got real fine bubbles it's kind of a mix it's like really really fine bubbles and a few coarse mixed in there with it um but it pours off like a chocolate syrup almost real thick hopping frog boris the crusher oatmeal imperial stout 9.4 percent abv all right, I think y'all can see that okay there. Hey, if y'all like beer, do me a favor and uh, hit that little beer mug there in the corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've been making these videos for over five years now. I do them four times a week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every week. And then sometimes I'll do a Monday and a Tuesday as well. But those four days, every week I've been doing them for the last four years. If you like beer, Hey, go through my profile and look through all the beers I've done. It, I, I've, now, I've, I've done over a thousand. I know at least over a thousand beers that I've reviewed. Um, and, you know, if there's something I can find, or if you would like to send me a beer, I'm, I'm open for that as well. Uh, I just love trying different beers, trying different things, and enjoying, you know, coming out here and talking to y'all. Anyway, if you like beer, subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Um, anyway, we're going to try this uh, Boris the Crusher today on a Hoppin' Frog Fridays are for you. This is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the hard work that you do uh, to provide for yourselves and your families and pay your own way just like I do. Uh, I know what it's like. I'm going to get a taste of this head before it goes away. Oh wow, that's like sweet coffee, sweet black coffee is what it tastes like. I didn't get a real good sip of it because I was sitting there jabbing my jaws, but anyway, I just, 
love and appreciate y'all. Cheers, brothers and sisters. Oh man, that's more like it. The hopping frogs I've been trying recently, man, have just been a little too much alcohol in them, a little too high on the alcohol content. This one's a 9.4. This is more tolerable. I'm not getting the booziness out of it, but what I'm getting is a rich chocolatey flavor and the roasty toasty flavor that you expect in, in a stout. Man, I'm telling you what, this is good. Now, the carbonation is very low. Um, of course, when I poured it off, it had a nice uh, reverse cascading dark brown head on it. And since then, the, the, of course, it's dissipated. And it's got a little bit of lacing on the glass. <clears throat> but the, the body itself, the carbonation is almost gone. It still has a little bit, but it doesn't detract from the flavor of it. It's still got a rich, deep, roasty coffee type flavor and a little bit of chocolate. Um, it's very good. Uh, I'm going to score this one a high A. Uh, the other ones that were a little more boozy, a little higher in alcohol content, they were just almost too much. Uh, where this one, this one, I can see why this one won gold in 2008 and 2011 because it's delicious. It's easy to drink. It's got a nice flavor, nice, robust, rich flavor. Um, this is, a, now... Where some of the others, you wouldn't be able to chug them because they were just too boozy. Uh, you know, it's like and, and <clears throat> some people can can you know chug something like that. I can't. I'm not big on uh, uh, whiskey or hard liquor or anything like that. I'll take a shot every now and then, but it's not one of my favorite things. I just can't really do it. Uh, I don't enjoy doing it. And the same way with the uh, high alcohol content beer, the the, the 10, 11, 12. 13 14 percent man it's just there's it's just too much for me to chug i can sip them but the flavor's got to be really good for me to buy one again you know for me to sip on because i don't sit around and let my beer get warm you know sipping on it and stuff i like to drink my beer you know just get this and done and get another um this one is it, you could do that with this has got a wonderful flavor it's easy to drink it's very smooth And it has a higher alcohol content, a 9.4%, but you can't tell it. It's not got the boozy flavor to it, and it's delicious. High A on this Hoppin' Frog, Boris the Crusher, Oatmeal Imperial Stout. This is good stuff. If you get a chance to try it, I highly recommend this one right here. Uh, you could chug this one. This is good. This is really good beer. Um, I'm really impressed with this one. More, I think I like this one better any of the Hoppin' Frogs I've done so far. I think this is my favorite. Um, and and to tell you the truth, I was kind of, you know, dreading doing it because the other ones have been so boozy. You know, I hadn't really enjoyed them that much. They've been okay. I mean, they've been decent. You know, they they I scored them a B plus, but they just really weren't my thing. This one right here, this is good. This is really good beer, very good beer, very good stout. Give it a shot if you ain't never. All right, y'all, that's been a Hoppin' Frog Fridays are for you this week. I'll be back tomorrow. I've got uh, uh, for a hard cider Saturday suds. I've got a hard cider. I've never seen this, y'all. I've got a hard cider that is maple bourbon barrel aged hard cider, and it's got a high ABV, I, I'm, and it will be interesting to have an apple hard cider that's got that bourbon tinge to it. I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna have a bourbon tinge. It'll be interesting to try that. So y'all stay tuned. Take care. Love and appreciate y'all. Cheers.